Hello everybody, this is John from PhoneDog.com and today I'm taking a look at a cross-platform open source tool for synchronizing your contacts across multiple devices. It's called Funamble and you'll get varying degrees of functionality depending on the combination of server and client software that you use. But eventually, and this is why I think the software is so interesting, you'll be able to synchronize your calendar, notes, and contacts across all of your devices. Uh, right now the server software only runs on Windows and Linux, but the client app, the one that runs on your phone, works with iPhone and iPod Touch, Android, Blackberry, Windows Mobile, and there's even Java ME support. If you want to read up some more on Phenomenal, check out the July issue of Linux Journal Magazine. Uh, that's where I learned about the project. So let's head over to my computer and we can talk a little bit about the setup process. If you've never done anything like this before, the most problematic aspect of setting up your own server is remembering your IP address and setting up port forwarding on your router. The IP issue is resolved pretty easily. Just go to no-ip.com and set up a free account. Um, they offer, I think, somewhere around 20 domains that are really easy to remember. So the address that you would need to memorize rather than a series of numbers would be something like username.ihateipaddresses.com. That's obviously not a real one, but it gives you an idea of what you can do. Uh, it's definitely easier than memorizing a series of numbers, especially since your ISP could change them at any moment. Uh, configuring your router really isn't as difficult as it sounds, but I'm not going to go through a tutorial here because um, there's so, such a wide variety of routers out there. But I'll put some links up so you can uh, find some resources that will help you get there. Now, if you go to funambol.com, and that's F-U-N-A-M-B-O-L.com, uh, and you look just to the right here, you see where I have it highlighted? That's free open source download. And click on that. You're going to find at the top the server software. There's Windows and Linux, and then uh, the uh, sync and client software down below. Here in the client software area, you have iPhone, Windows Mobile Smartphone Sync, Java ME Email Sync, BlackBerry Email Sync, WinMobile Pocket PC Sync, and Symbian Series 60 3rd Edition Sync. Below that, you have an Outlook Sync and an iPod Sync for Windows and Linux. I'm going to be using my iPod Touch and my G1 for this demo here. And you can just search the Apple App Store for Finamble and the Android Market for Finamble. It's a free download. And once you have your software installed, you're going to need to do a little bit of server administration. And uh, I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step on this. Again, check the July issue of Linux Journal. Uh, that walkthrough will get you through the process if you're running a Linux machine. Now I do have the plugin installed for Thunderbird and Sunbird, but since there isn't any calendar functionality yet, I'm going to skip that. But if you look in the upper right hand corner of my Thunderbird window here, you can see I have a synchronize button. I'm going to go ahead and add a new contact in my G1. For first and last name, let's do Jim Smith. Phone numbers for his mobile, we'll do all sevens. Email address, test at jimsmith.com and we could add all of these other things but I'm not going to do that so let's just save that and now we want uh, Android to send this information to the Finamble server my laptop so I'm going to go home launch Finamble you can see there are options there for calendar tasks and notes as well but right now contacts is the only one that's supported so I'll just click sync all and it's only going to try to do the contacts. And you'll see there it's running through all of mine. So that would take a little bit. While that's running, show you my iPod here. The only option available on the iPod is to sync contacts at this moment. So I'm eagerly awaiting uh, calendar task and note support. I think that would make this software a must have. But as it is, it's pretty cool to sync all of your contacts across multiple devices. G1 is just about done updating here. You see the checkbox there telling me that the sync was successfully completed. So if I click Sync Contacts on my iPod Touch, that's logging in, sending the ones that are on the iPod, and then it's going to download the ones from the server. And I cut a little bit of time out there just so you wouldn't have to wait through the entire thing. But as you can see now, the synchronization is successful. So if I go to my contacts book and scroll down to Jim, you'll see Jim Smith right there. There's actually two of them. I'm not sure why. Maybe I did another test beforehand. That one doesn't have any numbers associated with it. Let's check this one. 
Yeah, there's our guy. That's the one that we just set up there. And now, even though it's on the same computer, Thunderbird is behaving as though uh, the data is stored on another computer. It just assumes that automatically. It all depends on how you enter the address into your plugin here. But if I click Synchronize in Thunderbird, it says Synchronizing, Sync Successfully Completed. If I close that, open my address book, look for Jim. Here you'll see I have Jim Smith. I don't know if you can read at the bottom there. Mobile number all sevens. Email is test at jimsmith.com. And uh, just as a kind of verification, I'm going to create another one in here. Let's make the name Scott Jones. I'm having a hard time reaching over the camera here. Let's give him a nickname of uh, Scotty. Email, it's a randomness. Screen name. And let's give him a few different phone numbers here. So there you see we have work, home, fax, a pager, and a mobile. So I'm going to hit OK to save that in Thunderbird. Then I have to synchronize with Phenomble. Sync successfully completed. Move the camera back down here. And back to the G1, I'm going to go ahead and sync all. Again, that's only going to even attempt to do contacts at this point. While that's running, let's go ahead and do the iPod as well. Successful. That time it only checked the last few new addresses. It does check only for changes. The reason that it scanned all of them is because I reinstalled Phenamble. So this one is still running. Retrieving new items, just one, two, three, successfully completed. So if I go back to my contacts in Android here, okay, there's Scott Jones. You can see all of the information has been transferred over. And we'll just check the iPod as well. Scott Jones, which was not there before. And there are all the numbers I put in. And just for some evidence real quickly of future calendar integration, tasks, notes, and other stuff, hopefully. You'll see the synchronize button up here at the top of Sunbird. I can click it, and it will successfully sync, but of course that was way too quick because it's not actually transferring any of my events. But you can see there, uh, future implementation. So, there it is, Funamble. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned to PhoneDog.com. Take care.